I work out every single day. I train hard every single day. And I think, you know, you, you burn it off. A couple cigars here and there are not a big deal. It's not cigarettes. I think cigars are better than cigarettes. I also believe nicotine is a super drug, so I'm not going to stop. I think nicotine and caffeine. A super drug? 100%. What does that mean? Nicotine and caffeine are what I run on. Hundred, hundred, that's all I run on. Coffee's for closers, bro. Tell them. <laughs> Tell them. I'm the only one that, that drinks coffee between the two of us. Oh, really? By the way, you know who, uh, who talked about nicotine? Tucker Carlson talked about nicotine, right? Have you seen that no. when he talks about nicotine where he starts his days off, his day off with nicotine? Or, Fire, yeah. oh, 100%. Fire yeah. blood. I, I, I have about 10 to 15 cups of coffee a day and two or three cigars a day. And I only eat once a day. And it's funny because people look at my to 15. cups of coffee a day minimum. Minimum. Wow. But well, you don't do drugs. Zero drugs. You'll do. You'll have a sip of alcohol every once in a while. I used to. I haven't had alcohol in nine months. I've quit. But you're running on caffeine and nicotine. And nicotine. It's funny because people look at my physique when I put pictures up, and they're like, "What's your meal plan?" I'm like, "Bro, cigars, and coffee, <laughs> coffee and cigars, wild, coffee and cigars." I eat once a wow. day. I eat once a day. I what eat, time? I eat dinner only. That's it. Only eat dinner and eight. So you do intermittent fasting for every eighteen day. hours? What? Yeah. And eighty to ninety percent of my calories are meat. That's it. I'll just have like three steaks for dinner. Now, how much of that is genetics? How much is that like? The, I'm not sure if it's genetics, yeah. but that's just how I feel best. I feel best when, if I, if I smoke and drink coffee all the time, I feel hungry, which motivates me, and I feel energetic. It's energetic hungry. That's how I like to feel when I'm working. I want to be hungry. If I eat, I'm tired. Life's too good if I eat. I'm in my mansion. I've just eaten. She's beautiful. I'm going to bed. <laughs> no, but if, but if I don't, life. yeah, but if I don't eat, I'm like, maybe, I wouldn't say angry, but I like to have that tinge of, irritableness. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe I sound crazy. It's how I get things done. It's how I get life done. It's just how I... cups of coffee a day, oh, three wow. cigars, and you eat once a day. That's right, yeah. And you train every day. I train every day, yeah. And it's working. Well, working it works. for you. It's how I feel best. I don't know if I, if you wrote a book on uh, Tate's diet, if that book would do well. <laughs> well, I had, I had, well, this is interesting because I had a blood test when I was in hospital for yeah. all these things and my testosterone level, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on male hormones because I'm not, I don't understand them. I don't know what measurement it's in, but it's, it was between nine and 27 is the testosterone, the testosterone level, the mark it can be between nine and 27, the normal range. I've never taken a steroid in my life. I don't inject anything. I don't take any pills, nothing. And I was 32. I was above the normal scale and I'm 36 years old. It's supposed to be going down. So whatever I'm doing, I'm sticking to it. What was your diet and your regimen while in jail? There was no Cigarette, coffee? Or... There, oh, I had coffee and cigarettes. Don't worry, bro. I had those. Really? I spent my commissary money on coffee and cigarettes. I had coffee and cigarettes and one meal a day, same. So there was commissary money? Yeah, so we Who had coffee. you that? Yeah, so uh, a friend of mine put money on my account. So I was a rich guy in jail, because in Romanian jail, most people haven't got money, right? Rich I was guy rich. In jail. I was rich. <laughs> There's a limit to how much you can buy, but I was spending the maximum. So I had plenty of cigarettes. Coffee. I actually quit coffee. Now we're talking about coffee, and then I want to go back to the point you made earlier. But I quit coffee for the first thirty days in jail because I've never, I've never not been caffeinated. My experience of life is caffeinated. I'm a caffeinated <laughs> human, right? If I'm awake, it's caffeine. So I'm like, I don't need energy now. I'm in jail. So I quit caffeine and, and all coffee for thirty days to see if there's any tangible benefits, and I can confirm to the world that there are none. Zero. I did not sleep any better. I did not go to sleep any easier. I did not dream anymore. Nothing, absolutely nothing good happened except I was tired. Of it. it was garbage. I was like, give me my coffee back. I went back to my 15 coffee, cups of coffee a day. That's, that's pretty your coffee. wild to have that much coffee. The last time I drank coffee, I was 25. We have really? one friend. Literally. We have one friend that drinks almost as much Mario coffee. Drinks Mario drinks as much as you. And by the way, everybody around me loves coffee. Yeah. Including my 11-year-old son, Tico. Yeah. He, he, him and his mom got into an argument the other day because she didn't want to take him to Starbucks. He's like, what do you mean? It's like, I want some coffee. He's like, you're not having coffee yeah, yeah. at 11 years old. Anyways, but it's working for you. It's working for your body. Correct. Sometimes when you, when you find a diet or a combination that, that hits your body well, you'll know it, you'll feel it. And, and, and that, you have to know your body the correct. best. Correct. I think there's no perfect diet for everybody. I Everyone's agree. Everyone's slightly different. I agree. And that's just, and, and I think you are what you eat to a degree. And it also depends the mental model you want to operate under. Some, if I wanted to operate under comfort, I certainly wouldn't eat the way I eat. I do it because I particularly want to operate under a degree of irritability and high energy and hunger. I like feeling hungry. I don't like feeling full. I like being hungry all the time. I, I love that. I mean, that's, that's the quality of people where, you know, you can, you can tell a lot from somebody how big they think after they make money and they have some success. Yeah. When they make money, that's when they slow down. That's when they get casual. The hunger goes away. Yeah. It, you'll really know if somebody's hungry when they made money and they're still going. What is this guy doing still going? Yeah. You've already made the money. You've already had the success. Yeah. Let's transition to a couple other stories here. Sure. So 
all of a sudden you put in your profile. Obviously, I joked about it. You're the most Googled woman on earth. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.